Weather Authority, Robert Bettis, the Borderlands only certified broadcast meteorologist. Okay, first time, here it goes. Skylar, you're watching. <laughs> the first time I ever turned my brand new lawnmower on. This is the new toy we were talking about yesterday. And when you pull the trigger, it has front wheel drive. <laughs> you no longer work. It does the work for you. Well, do you I go any other way? Well, no. <laughs> well, I don't think so. I mean, it's a very luxurious lawnmower, but I don't think it goes in reverse. Okay, but Robert, you are such a dad. This is a yeah, very dad thing true. to be excited yeah. about, and with 4th of July. <laughs> Guilty, yeah. Want that lawn perfect for the 4th. Mm -hmm. I hope you enjoyed this exclusive <laughs> video. I did. It's only exclusive right here, the only place you'll watch I, it. I believe we are the only station with it. Yep, and if anyone else has it, we're in trouble. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of the 4th, we're on approach, and weren't those thunderstorms fantastic? <laughs> And the outflow winds, I realized they were gusty, but man, did they drop that temperature fast. And we're going to get another round of these thunderstorms tomorrow to cool us down, at least late in the afternoon. Not much good for the midday part of the day, which will be hot again. Nothing officially measured at the airport. However, where you see the green color, you see the hot spots of rainfall. Out here in the northeast side of El Paso County, just outside of Chaparral on your way on 54 out there, and west of the Mesilla Valley. Valley. We had some pretty decent rainfall come down. Otherwise, just some light stuff in town, but we'll take every drop we can get. Official high today, 103. The clouds took their time forming, so we're going to be hot again tomorrow. I'm expecting it to do about the same, 103 degrees in the afternoon. Here are the high temperatures today. 95 Alabogordo, 95 Van Horn, 88 at the pass, 81 for Ruidoso, 101 for Deming. At the airport right now, it is 82 degrees still with cloudy skies, dew point 46. That's juicy. You could feel that humidity in the morning and we'll feel the same humidity tomorrow with southeast winds, dew points 40s to 50s during the afternoon. Right now, the thunderstorms are still active in the panhandle, southeastern New Mexico, but here in the borderland, it's pretty much quieted down. We have a few lingering showers over Hudspeth County, but here we're quiet and so the skies will turn clear overnight tonight. Winds five miles per hour out of the southeast, eight Los Cruz. 10 Deming, occasional gusts, but not much at this point. Here comes your allergy forecast for the next few days. 5.2 by Tuesday, 4.9 by Wednesday. Across the nation, traveling severe weather hotspots in parts of Pennsylvania, down to the Carolinas, over into Indiana and Kentucky, also Montana, as well as the Dakotas. Down here, though, We'll see another round of those late day thunderstorms from the afternoon heating. We have enough moisture and instability to do that. 97 Alabagorda, 102 Deming, 104 Juarez, and 96 for Van Horn tomorrow. Tonight for you, Las Cruces, 72 the low temperature. Tomorrow, 103 the high. Muggy during the middle part of the day. Here come the late day thunderstorms. 77 low temperature at the International Airport tonight. 103 our high for tomorrow. Now only KTSM gives you nine full days of weather. On the 4th of July, I'm downgrading the chance of storms to a couple of pinpoint showers. Nothing major. Temperature going up. 104, the high temperature. 104 with pinpoint showers on Wednesday. Similar slight chance Thursday with a high of 105. And then the heat takes off again. 107 on Friday. 108 Saturday. 109 degrees on Sunday. 108 on Monday. 106 Tuesday. Don't go anywhere. More KTSM 9 News in just a moment.